Okay, so when I'm looking at the 11th house, the 5th house, and the 9th house for you, Cancer, it looks like that trine is saying, if you, and especially with Jupiter in there in your 5th house, if you really start thinking about, and you have been, um, and creating your world and you, the things that you want and the people that you want around and the relationships that you want, if you do this from your heart, that's going to bless you and 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 that means for some of you i got to let go of some people i got to let go of some situations i got to let go and get through you know these things that neptune is going to protect you in that it's not going to be as hard as it was because neptune is going to make it easier for you neptune wants to bless you jupiter wants to bless you the full moon wants to bless you and what's the full moon about we already said that it was in Taurus, but the full moon is about completions and gains and manifestations. All of this is positive. I know a lot of people like to say, you know, well, do you ever see anything negative, Cindy? Yeah, I see it negative, but I don't sit in the negative. Um, I, I, and I understand that our perception, if we focus on the positive, we can't negate the negative, but we can, we don't have to sit in it. We don't have to like pine over it and we don't have to like dwell on it. Right? So whatever you have to do, like letting go of somebody is not, not a positive. It doesn't feel like a positive. It can be, it is a positive, but it doesn't feel like a positive, but Neptune is going to help you do that so that you can receive your blessings. So this is the thing that I said on in the Gemini and I'll try to say it in every video. Um, from our higher selves, from our whole selves, we can accept and have unlimited energy run through us, right? But in our physical self, in this resonance, in our vibration, we there's only so much energy that can run through us in our physical self, right? So when you have things that you have not let go of or people or situations or old trauma some sometimes you don't even realize that you've had it because you, you know you kept working and you kept going on about life and you just didn't look at it because you had to do what you had to do right but sometimes but when you do that and you don't realize that those things are still there that's energy that you're holding and you got to let go of that energy you don't have to cut it off, but you got to let go of it so that you can receive your blessings. And it looks like to me for you cancers, it's time for you to let go of something so that these blessings can come in so that you can grow and expand your soul. That makes sense? Okay. So I'm sending you lots of love and light. I know this is not easy for you, but you can do this. I know you can do this because you have so many other things coming your way. So um and let me say this because i'm seeing some of you i'm hearing some of i'm hearing well i can do it i can like let go of people and whatever you will let go of them physically but then emotionally you'll keep that energy and i'm saying to like let it l l release it you got to release it and let it flow through you got to understand why those things and those people and those situations came to you how what did you learn what did, what did you experience what did you not like in that experience? What did you love in that experience? What did you learn? How are you different then now than you were then? What have you grown to become, right? Those are the things you need to be looking at so that you can release those, right? So that energy can flow through you. Okay. So this is what I've done. This is going to be your, um, emotional state. And this is spirit's advice, like in the physical part. And so this is your past, this is your present, and this is your future. So this is your past. This would be like October and, and beyond. And then this would be your present now. And then this would be like sort of the end of November and into December. And then down here, what I've done is done a romance advice card and a financial advice card. And the reason I say romance is because for me, love is that energy that moves through all vibrations. So love can be like in your work, in your family, in your friends, as well as in your romance and partnerships, right? So that's why I called it the romance card. So let's get started. So it looks like in your past, look at you. This is why I'm really proud of you. So this is what you were going through. This is your emotional state. Your emotional state in your past was the Queen of Cups. So it was about you loving. And, and you guys know if you've seen me before, you know that I love the Queen of Cups. And she has been coming up a lot in our dailies. The Queen of Cups is this beautiful, I mean, she's you. 
or he's you because it's not gender specific to me it's about the characteristics it's this beauty they're this beautiful character of beautiful king or queen that has this unconditional the way of unconditional love but they have this innate talent because they're extremely intuitive and empathic mostly and really empathic so they have this way of mirroring whoever is in front of them and becoming what that person wants and needs and in that and they don't do it by so it's not like somebody's making them do it it's like they, it's just their talent to be able to do it right but in that they lose themselves sometimes so they have to like really check in a lot about, am I doing this because they want me to do this or am I doing this because I want to do it, right? So it looks like in your recent past or in your past, you were coming to terms with your boundaries. Um, what am I willing to accept? What am I not willing to accept? And you had to really think about, is this my energy or is it their energy, right? And so it looks like their advice in this in this past and it looks like you're coming through it because you're not done but you're coming through it is that it, you were you you had the unconditional love but you were losing yourself you were losing yourself so their advice was the eight of swords which means sometimes it can get overwhelming and sometimes you don't know you know what it is and who it is and what situation that i is that my situation is it their feeling is it my feeling and so they're saying when you get overwhelmed because this card can be very overwhelming when you get overwhelmed take the time out like don't check out and try to do something else because you guys can do that you guys will like have so many things going on and you'll shut that down and just keep working or keep doing or keep like doing for others so that you don't have to think about it right and they're saying no when this happens or in your recent past what you're getting through is putting into practice because i think a lot of you are learning this but putting into practice that when you get into this state it's time to check in with yourself it's time to recognize where your boundaries are it's that time and this is what you're coming through this is what you're learning that you have to learn that when you get this sign the symptom for you so i'm going to say a symptom the symptom of being overwhelmed the symptom of wanting to check out that's a symptom that's a sign for you to say okay i need to like really maybe be by myself i need to really think about things i need to really see where i want to go next and i need to really figure out is it my energy or is it their energy right uh, with the situations with the people with the loved ones like this is this is a symptom for you and it's time for you to like give yourself some love that's what i'm that's what i'm saying is to give yourself some love but you're coming through that so your present this is what's coming to you this is the possibilities this is your emotional state so this is in your now so you're now because this is the end of October, you could be right now till two weeks. That's what's what the now position for me is now to two weeks. So um, your now is your is the magician. So the magician, it, it's not like the it's not like the fool where the fool is zero point energy. The magician knows that they have all within them to make things happen. And I feel like emotionally, you're gonna start feeling this way. You're gonna start feeling stronger. You're gonna start. It's just the energy movement too, just the way the planets are aligned, just the way that you're doing things uh, from your recent past to now that you are understanding, you know what, I am capable of these things. I do want this and not that. This is me that's wanting this and that wasn't me that was wanting that. And so I feel like you'll be more centered and that even though, and because this is coming from like up here, this is like spirit, this is like your higher self. I feel like you have gifts coming. I feel like, like, um, like some of you may not even, some of you may be like in such a state where you're like, I don't even know where the, what the heck I'm going to, so I almost cursed, sorry. I don't even know what the heck I'm going to do next. I like everything's in disarray and I don't even know how I'm going to get out of this. And I feel like you get help. I feel like you get help. And then just a little bit of help that somebody gives you you get stronger and you say yes i can do this and that is a great thing and when you get in this energy where you understand that you really do have it all within you to be able to accomplish those dreams as long as you're coming from your heart 
your creativity, your passion, your heart, right? Not theirs, not your loved ones, not your partners, not your family, not your friends, but yours. When, when you're coming from yours and this happens, and this is in your now, look at you. You have the seven of cups. Opportunity, 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 opportunity. Those seen and unseen. And this is in the physical. This is in the physical. This is the emotional. This is the physical. So in the physical, it looks like when you get to this state and when you get that little bit of help and when you get centered and when you really take charge of what you want and come from that fifth house of creativity and let Neptune help you and that full moon. The full moon is about releasing. It, you got to release that old energy so that you can get the new stuff. It looks like you get opportunity in the month of November and it looks like it comes from a lot of places like I want to say it's not just one thing it's like three and four or five things for you like I can see where at the end of the month you're like wow like I'm actually making decisions about where to go forward like like maybe some of you are moving or maybe some of you are getting a new job and you're like I didn't even see a job coming, but wow, it's right here. And now I can look to another thing and now I can maybe even get another position. And like, I see these opportunities coming for you in November. So congratulations. You just have to stay centered to you, not to others, but to you. Okay. So in your future, which is like the end of November into December. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let me get this one. Um, so this is your emotional state. So they're saying to get in your future, there's going to be some decisions that you're going to be having to make. And I feel like it's because of these opportunities that come in. So don't get stuck in the fact that, oh, I don't know if I should do this or I should do that. You got to stay centered and you have to remember, listen, for any other sign, I would say, just think about what you want to do. Right. And then, and it would be easy. Right. But not for you guys. So just get centered when you have to make these decisions and remember, I'm making them for me. There's something in my head, in my heart, in my passion that's trying to create a better world for me, a better life for me, a better whatever for me. I don't want to go back to what I was. I want to go to where I, I see myself. And so when you do that and you think about yourself, then you can make those decisions. Now, of course, you can make your decision and saying, I'm going to make my decision for me. But, you know, I have other people that are around me that I have to consider. That's okay too, but don't consider them more than you consider yourself. Be balanced in that. That's what they're saying about the decision in the, in the near future. Okay. So there's decisions that you're going to be having to make. And I have, to, and I think it's because of these opportunities. And so then by the end of the month or maybe into next month, you have the palace of swords and the palace of swords is a state of mind. So it's like the planning state for me. Um, the swords is all about thinking outside the box. The swords, when you come to the king and queen of the swords, the king and queen of the swords realizes that it was always theirs to begin with because it was part of their DNA. They were royalty to begin with. And I feel like that's what you'll be doing when you make these decisions is understanding that you can have these things, that these things in your heart were there for a reason so that you could create them so that you could have the life that you wanted so that you could experience the things that you wanted right so i feel like by end of november into december you will be like planning you know maybe i'm going to a new house maybe i'm going to a new apartment maybe i'm getting a new car maybe my job is like maybe i, I got a new position like things are looking up for you cancers just stick with your creativity from your heart okay love from love you as much as you love the world and people okay so um this is going to be your romance card it does look like somebody's coming back but you're a cancer and they always come back <laughs> you guys always find a way to kill them, bring them back so you have the six of cups so their advice is it's okay for for you go obviously it's okay because that's how you're going to have it done. Somebody is coming back. They're looking at you. They don't want to let you go. They're coming back. But you're going to be, as long as you're speaking from your heart, you're going to be in a clear space. And it's different for every cancer that I'm talking to, okay? Because some of you, that person has really changed and is vibrating where you're vibrating now and is ready to 
make an effort and love you the way that you want and need to be loved. But others of you, they're not. They just think they are and they'll say what they need to say and then they won't show you anything. Okay? Because for some of you, for them, it's about not letting you go. You know, not like you always being there for them. Right? And so, um, what Spirit's saying with this advice is when they come back, as long as you've been heart-centered, as long as you're clear and love yourself enough as, as much, sorry, not enough, love yourself as much as you love everyone else, as long as you're doing that, you'll be able to see clearly whether this person's supposed to stay or not. And it's not a right or wrong, but you'll know, is this person matching with where I'm wanting to go with my life? or not and you'll be clear when that person comes in because they're coming back in November it looks like some of you they've never gone away but they're actually going to come physically but others of you they've gone away and then they're going to come back okay so just be advised and there's not a right or wrong whatever you want to do so in your financial area you have the tower so i'm really happy i know some people are scared of the tower i like to see the tower but i'm a gemini sagittarius moon and uh aquarius ascending so i'm a sun gemini and aries venus so i'm all about change <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all so the tower is anything that isn't built on a solid foundation has to come crumbling down but you see this tower this is why i like this deck because it's only cracked here. So that means they built the solid foundation up to here. It wasn't up to here that they started using the, the cheaper materials. And so that's got to be changed, right? So that's kind of what I see for some of you, for some of you. For some of you, I see a, a change coming financially, but it's because you've been in a place where you were allowing people to take advantage of you, where you weren't really speaking from your heart, where you were doing things that you really didn't want to do because they wanted to do it or you thought it was best for everyone or, or or whatever reason i mean everybody has their own reasons and again there's not a right or wrong there's no judgment i love you dearly i love you dearly listen my sister's a cancer i love her so very much um and you know being the big sister i want to beat everybody up when we were kids <laughs> but um because she loves so much like you gotta have your boundary <laughs> But anyway, this is what I'm saying with your financial area is that you have some, a lot of changes coming and I think it's time for your finances to get better, but there's some changes that need to happen. And so it may feel a little abrupt because you may not want to move because things may feel too drastic, but it's needed for where you're wanting to go. And so I feel like for a lot of you, like where you had little money it's going to get more and where you had some money it's going to get even more like i feel like there's a big change coming for you in the month of november so congratulations but there does it's going to feel a little uncomfortable for some of you well for a lot of you it's going to feel a little uncomfortable but it's needed for where you're wanting to go and i know you can do it just speak from your heart even in your financial area so i'm going to turn over the card um for this is going to be your like major theme for november and what you'll be working through and it looks like you have the moon so the moon is all about you know i mean i see it a lot, a lot of different ways for you guys so the moon is about coming to terms with this other person that you're dealing with in your love life and with your fifth house being activated already with jupiter and then your the sun being in there with this full moon uh being in the 11th house and then neptune in your ninth house I feel like, you know, you're having to um, love affairs. I mean, that's all I can say is love affairs are like expanding. So um, it looks like some of you will be having that person come back in and you'll be dealing with that all of the month of November. Uh, but for others of you, I feel like I kind of feel like this is you this is you like understanding the beauty of life again seeing being able to breathe again seeing um seeing how good things can be for you that's kind of how i feel like your your life is sort of changing that perspective or that perception is sort of changing where 
you know, there was once a time where I was happy and I think I can be happy again. And that's kind of how I feel like when these things come through, when these opportunities come in, when, you know, this person comes back, when the financial stuff changes, um, I feel like you sort of see the beauty of life again. And that's what you'll be working through in the month of November.